Hello, this is Juno Lee from Korea. Um, today I'm visiting Goje City. It's also second largest island after Jeju Island. I was thinking about visiting several cities to discover the beauty of South Sea of Korea. As long as my credit card works, okay? Uh, in, if you come to visit Goje, you have to understand this is very important that this is where prisoners of war camp was located during the Korean War. So it's crazy that at the time there's 100,000 uh, population live here and all of a sudden 170,000 prisoners of war arrive. And also at the same time about 100,000 refugees arrive here. So all of a sudden the city, the population grew like triple time. Do you understand? <laughs> this is what happened in North Korea's famous uh, evacuation operation took place uh, in Hungnam, North Korea, uh, about 100,000 refugees. So this is a miracle that UN troops decided to evacuate those civilians instead of, um, you know, this uh, military supply. So it was a truly miracle that happened uh, Hungnam in North Korea. Anyway, so Kaode, it's very important that the prisoners of war camp was located. Um, so we're gonna go check it out, the historical part of prisoners of war camp to understand Kaje Island. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I came to historical park of Kaje, prisoners of war camp. I heard it was crazy because 170,000 um, there are two groups, one is an anti-communist, one is a pro-communist. They're fighting each other, killing each other. It was crazy. One time they even kidnapped a um, UN general, American general, who's in charge of this prisoners of camp. And also there are many uh, like significant events took place. One time, first president of South Korea, Sung Man Lee, released the prisoners and anti-communist prisoners as a way to protest against the negotiation that, used, that was taking place between UN versus Chinese and North Korea. So, because he didn't want the armistice agreement, what he wanted was the unification of entire Korea. So, <laughs> I'll stop talking. Let's just go inside the historical park of Kaje Prisoners of War Camp. Okay, let's go. I just visited this prisoners of war camp historic park, which was really, really uh, nice and worth it, especially to understand history of Koje Island. I really recommend, there's a 4D theater, the movie is about 30 minutes. It's really good movie to understand uh, Koje Island, uh, the history of uh, prisoners of war. Okay, so now we're going to the, take the monorail, monor monorail, it's located right here and bring us to the top of Kerong Mountain, which is a great scenery of Koje Island. Okay, I arrived here at Changsungpo Seaport. This is where the Russo-Japanese War took place, one of the battlefield. So ever since that, uh, this area had become Japanese Navy Bay. So when Korea was under Japanese rule, this is where all the supply from Japan, military and Navy from Japan arrived. So a lot of Japanese uh, have moved 
into the city, built lots of Japanese houses. And also in 1951, after the evacuation operation in, took place in North Korea, all of them, um, refugees have arrived in Busan, but Busan was full of refugees, so they arrived here. Uh, so this is a historical place. Um, so we're gonna go to the restaurant. We're gonna have a lunch, but the restaurant, the houses were all built during that Japanese occupation era. <laughs> This is Japanese style house, but also whoever arrived here from 1951 uh, started restaurants so selling North Korean food, which is a cold noodle. And also this seaport is very, very popular nowadays because Jishimdo, one of the beautiful islands that is located close to the Koji Island. Um, you can also go there by taking ferry <laughs> from the seaport. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. Okay, so I came to Jishimdo Island. She means the heart in Chinese character. They said if you see it from the sky, it looked like a heart in Chinese character. Jishimdo got nicknamed Camellia Island because this island is covered with the Camellia tree. So if you come here in like February, March, you'll be able to see this beautiful Camellia flower. Since I came here in July, I don't see any of those. <laughs> and also, like I said, Changsingpo and Seaport and this islands being close to Japan, actually right by the Korea Strait. Strait, you know, being close between Korea and Japan, uh, strategically very important. So that's why they developed this as a Navy Bay. And because of that, this, this and Seaport are the only places that take by American troops during the World War II. Um, in fact, it's so close, I got text messages from the government, you know, all the roaming information, etc. etc. And also, I got the text message, they said I'm able to purchase up to 200 worth of alcohol without taxes, <laughs> paying any taxes. Um, so if you come to visit this island, you walk around, beautiful forest, you'll be able to see lots of Navy facility for Japanese, for example, a cannon post, storage for the ammunition and searchlights. Uh, and there, in fact, there's a one house they said it was built by Japan for the Japanese officer. Still there. <laughs> so it's, it's got beautiful sea, scenery, forest, historical sites, good combination. So if you come to visit Koje, consider <laughs> stopping by Jishimdo Island. There are about 30 people live here. <laughs> there's some restaurant here too. Okay, let's go. Okay, finally I came to this beach. It's called Gujora Beach. My guidebook said this is the beach in Korea that has most clean uh, seawater. Well, let's go and check it out. Okay, a nearby area, there's uh, several viewpoints to you, for you to go, like small mountains to climb up. And also like there's a fortress bit built to protect Korea, Joseon Dynasty from Japan. Let's go, check it out.
okay, I didn't go into the beach area because I looked at the water, it's dirty. <laughs> anyway, I let's go. Other place. Okay, I know Gujora Beach, water kind of dirty, disappointment. But don't worry, I brought you here. Look. Wow, beautiful, right? And also, don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna find one beach area that has some clean water, okay? Because I myself also want to go swimming in the sea beach area, okay? Enjoy and let's go. I'll bring you to the beach, all right? Wow! Beautiful! <laughs> let's go. Okay, I'm here at uh, Ujebong. This place has great view of this Hegumgang. Uh, he means the sea, Kumgang means the very famous, the most popular, most famous mountain in Korea, but located in North Korea called Kumgang Mountain. So in Korea, wherever you go, beautiful places always have this Kumgang. Hegumgang means the Kumgang located in the seaside. Sogumgang, which means it's a Kumgang, but small size of Kumgang. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> and also, they have a ferry. We're going to take a ferry. The crew goes about around this Hegumgang to fully enjoy this beauty of Hegumgang. It's got the cave, um, but the other side. But Wujebong has beautiful uh, view. Let's enjoy the view. Then uh, <laughs> let's enjoy the view, okay? <laughs> let's go. Okay, so I came to Shinsonde. This is where the god came down and hung out, and they went back up. <laughs> Shinson means god, so Shinsonde is a place where the god hung out. Uh, anyway, it's beautiful scenery, and nearby there's a place called Windy Hill. I just visited there. Literally, it's, it's all the tourists in Kode are all there. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, let's go enjoy this beautiful scenery. Okay, let's go. So I'm here at Somemulto, which is the most beautiful island that exists in Korea. Really beautiful. Actually, this island belongs to the Tongyeong city, but the reason why I visit here while I'm visiting Koje is actually nearer from Koje. From Koje, it takes about 50 minutes, 40-50 minutes, but from Tongyeong, it takes about an hour and then 20 minutes. Ah, it's so foggy, so I cannot really see clearly. <laughs> But please, anyway, enjoy this beautiful Songemulto Island. Water down there is so clean, so clean. I really wanted to go into water, <laughs> but I didn't have uh, like proper uh, like, like clothing. Anyway, so clean. Everything is just perfect. 